Hey, and welcome to Matt and Jess TV. I am Matt Roast here with Jessica Bonbon, and this is our preview for Only Murders in the Building, Season 4, Episode 6. The title here is Blow Up, whatever that means. <laughs> it certainly doesn't sound like it means a good thing is coming. No, and probably not. I mean, could there be a big fight coming? Yeah, I think at the very least, like, they have to resolve what happened at the end of this past episode where, you know, mm -hmm. I, I said in the review, and we have that link in the description, that I think one of the brother's sisters was probably taken out because, like, one of them wasn't really accounted for in, like, the final minutes of that episode. Yeah, and I mean... It Good on you. You guys tried really hard to make all of us think that the brother sisters were behind it all. Yeah. And with them, one of them is missing. Are they the person <laughs> behind it? And it's like, no, they're not. Like, they're not going to tell us this halfway through. It's like, by the way, it's these guys. Yeah. I also feel like this cliffhanger has got to be one that's resolved pretty fast because this was a very yeah. crowded room. Like, very. Shouldn't somebody be aware of who is responsible for whatever? happened here because it didn't to me i didn't get a full out of that room i don't know if this is something that you know another sniper was involved in it just didn't feel that way no this feels like whatever is happening at this point somebody was in a bit of a desperate situation and yeah. decided to take the opportunity and now we're going to be going into a really interesting episode where it's going to be a bit experimental where they're going to be using a lot of like cell phone footage and security cameras and the brother sisters documentary. And like, it's all going to be sort of found footage, which, you know, could, it's a, it's a big risk. It could yeah. be really fun. It could be really, uh, I don't know. doesn't work <laughs> out. It's tough. I mean, we all remember the Blair witch project yeah. when it was a bunch of found footage. It was, it was really good, especially at that time. There was nothing like it. Like, I'm, I will give you guys a little bit of credence that, okay, you know what you're doing with this. Maybe this will be a very, very interesting episode. We'll dive more into it, but before mm -hmm. we do, be sure to hit that subscribe button because we are here three times a week. We have reviews and previews <laughs> for Only Murders in the Building up on Tuesdays, on Wednesdays. We have theories and, you know, there's always going to be a lot of great stuff to talk about with this show. So thank you guys so much for your support and subscribing. Also, if you want to support us further, be sure to join our Patreon for just $5 a month. It helps support Matt and I here at the channel to continue to make videos for you guys. And it allows you access to our polls that you can vote in that helps decide what we're going to be covering here at the channel and also what shows we're going to be covering exclusively on Patreon just for our Patreons. Right now, we're covering the Penguin over mm -hmm. there just for our Patreon. So thank you so much to everyone who has joined. Thank you guys so, so much. We really, really appreciate that. Okay, so according to The Hollywood Reporter, this whole episode, like I mentioned, is all shot on cell phones, security cameras, found footage. You know, it's going to be instead of like traditional TV cameras, it's going to be you know, just like mm -hmm. people around, where where are you getting it? Which all kind of makes sense because of how this was left, where yeah. it was like, it seems like something, you know, we heard the gun, is, is somebody dead? Like what's going on? And the best way to be able to figure that out, let's see everybody's cell phones, pull up the security footage. It seems like there might be a documentary being made by the brother sisters, probably of the film set. So yeah. You know, all of that footage will be coming into play. I think what feels kind of fair to assume here, and I think we're we're both on the same page here, clearly, that the brother sisters are not responsible for what happened to Saz or, you know, what was attempted to be Charles or whatever you think about who was the target there. So with all of that in mind, they may be very much informed in this episode that they are suspects especially you know if something does happen to one of the brother sisters that raises even more questions as to why mm -hmm. somebody would want to target them so i think kind of as a result of all of this they have been very sort of like snooty we're better than everybody you know we have our invisible monocles on all the time like i think once they kind of realize some adversity i think they will probably fold pretty fast and they will be like okay you know what we're going to prove to you guys that we have nothing to do with any of this. So we have been making this documentary about our process. Here you go. Take a look at all of this different footage and maybe you'll actually be able to take something from this. 
this idea that there's a documentary going on about the process and the film is very common. It happens all the time. It even happened when I was making Drop Dead Roses. They made a documentary about me and the film. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I'm nobody. Nobody cares about this. <laughs> so like if they're doing it for me, they're doing it for other people bigger films of course because it's basically a two for one at that point you're you're already there making the film so you yeah. know that the film itself is going to make some money but then you have this back up which is the documentary that you can cut together in some sort of reality show or put it in for extra special features and charge more if you're going to buy this product <laughs> it's it's a, been going on for a very long time so it absolutely makes sense yeah i will say this though this is my beef hat all it's right. on all right we just did this last season. <laughs> Guys, Robert Taubert was making a documentary about the play. Same sort of idea. You know, if the play doesn't make money, the documentary can make money. Like, it's a double way to ensure that money is coming in. So, we, we doing this again? <laughs> well, I mean, even the concept of found footage. I mean, this is far from the first show that has done something like this. This is not like a big and jaw-dropping twist on format i'm sure with it being only murders it can still be really really fun but i think in terms of trying to solve the mystery here there's there's a few different questions we can wonder about but i think number one to me anyway is when did they first decide to start making this because mm -hmm. we know from saz that saz was pretty worried about things related to the movie before she ended up dying so this idea of the movie being in development has been around for a while but if this documentary was being made way way back then then you can kind of get a sense of like okay who were there on the ground floor with some of this because that may actually be able to narrow down the suspect list a little bit like you know i said in the review posted earlier today that i'm kind of sort of sniffing around glenn stubbins at this point mm -hmm. as a possible suspect but if he didn't have anything to do with the movie in the early going and as far as we know it feels like he didn't like it, it's kind of hard to really justify then why saz would be worried about him it might be about secrets, which is what I've been thinking this whole time, that it's something that either Charles or Saz or somebody figured out a secret or learned about a secret. Mm -hmm. And it's something that could really unravel for someone else on the film, either the life story that's going on or yeah. now, I mean, the synopsis is a documentary film is made by the brothers sisters. So it's like, OK, it's not a, it, there's not a lot to go on here. But these documentaries behind yep. the scenes, oh my God, I'm telling you, they are in your life, everywhere in your life where it's like, oh, don't worry. It's just going to be about you making the film. And then they're in your house and they're in your kitchen and they're following you around. And it's like, okay, well, I'm off set now. So <laughs> why are you still here? Right? So, but that's how all the sort of like they get all the dirty, dirty on you, right? Yeah. And they're able to like really dig up stuff. The documentary is always the worst part, <laughs> but they always uncover all the secrets. So it's possible that that's where it's going to come into play. The motive just still isn't here yet. And going into episode six, the motive could start to become more clear. Six, seven, kind of getting there. Yeah, I, I think the whole idea behind all this for the trio at least when it comes to the trio looking at some of this is that they can start to examine what's going on with these people is somebody acting a little bit strange around set who's talking to who how does yeah. that person know the other person <laughs> the other thing that i'm kind of wondering about is okay well how much does the casting crew know about this documentary being made because nobody has mentioned it through the first five episodes here at all mm -hmm. and judging from the fact that we're using cell phones and security cameras in this episode what are the brother sisters trying to do some sort of like guerrilla filmmaking here where they're just doing all of this in secret yeah that's the that's the thing about this documentary film like is it that it's really gonna be the way a traditional documentary would be we saw robert tauber going around with a camera that yeah. is the way that it normally is right but these are the brothers sisters so they might be doing it in a different way to get a different kind of feel that's my hope anyways because mm. we haven't seen anybody documenting this film so where yeah. are they 
what I'm ultimately hoping comes out of this episode in particular is just that we have opportunities to focus on a few more people that are working on the movie. Because just going back to the very start of this season, like I felt very strongly that the killer was probably one of those people who was there out in Hollywood, who we saw very, very briefly. I'm not talking about Bev or Marshall the writer or the brother sisters, but like one of these other people who was attached to it. This actually does give us an opportunity to look a little bit more at some of these individual suspects. Mm -hmm. And what we know about Only Murders in particular is that they're pretty clever when it comes to dropping in a line that may connect somebody mm -hmm. to somebody else in a way in which we don't think about. Like, and a good way to think about this would be is one of these people who's working on this movie maybe a part of a card game that was mentioned earlier mm -hmm. in the past that, you know, mm -hmm. Sass put Charles onto. It feels like that's like a little something that's going to come back at some point. And they've got like these little hints like that that we have to sort of be watchful on. Yeah, I mean, the if we're still following the formula of the show, then typically whoever the murderer is, is introduced in like episode one or two, and then they kind of disappear until yeah. like episode six or seven, and then they become more prominent again, and then it's revealed that they're the killer. That happened with Jan, that happened with Poppy, it's, yeah. it happened with Cliff and Donna, <laughs> like it's happened every single season. So whoever was in episode one that we saw very briefly, yeah. like some of the you know handshakers at the beginning of this where it's like oh hey we're meeting yeah. you on the movie like nice to meet you i'm you know bob cool <laughs> we haven't seen bob again but if bob shows up next episode then we know it's bob here's the one crummy thing about this documentary is that while they have all this footage that's out there i'm sure they do not have an iota of footage of what actually happened the no. night <laughs> there's no, there no way the documentary was over in the dude and off place like I think no, this is really going to be about what happened on set. That's what I think. I think yeah. it's going to really be like, we need to see what's happening. Cool. The brothers, sisters have been secretly filming everybody. Let's go and look at the security cameras. Yeah, I think it's going to be a pretty cut and dry episode in that sense. I think this is going to be, I think it'll be funny at times. I do think it will be unique, but I, mm -hmm. I don't think we should come into this thinking, okay, we're gonna for sure know the killer we may just know more suspects and this may be frustrating to a lot of people because i do think in general this has been a very fun season like so far it's really up there with the first two seasons for me if there is a major criticism of it right now it's that okay we have everybody with the film we have glenn who may not be connected to anything we've got your scott bacula theory which is really really fun even though he hasn't been around for a while we also have everybody with the westy besties and the west tower we have so many different things going on we also have so many different like targets or possibilities of other murders that have happened so yep. it's like was it saz supposed to be the target she's dead is it charles he's not I'm positive that Dunoff is dead. <laughs> now is somebody else on set also dead? It is, there are so many things going yeah. on this season and so many different like deaths or targets or possible deaths yeah. that it's like, my, own, my only real beef is, is it taking away from Saz's death? They did spend a lot of time at the beginning on it and they are still looking into it. Mm -hmm. But we are having a lot of these episodes that are focusing on other people that are also dead or possibly dead. All right. Well, that's what we got here for our Only Murders in the Building Season 4 Episode 6 preview. This is going to be a really fun episode, fingers crossed. Yeah. We're looking forward to diving into that. But before we do go forward, be sure to hit that subscribe button mm -hmm. so you don't miss any other updates here. Also, if you want to support us further, join our Patreon $5 a month. You can vote on polls to help us help determine the shows that we're going to cover yeah. here the shows we're covering at patreon yeah. thank you so much for your support thank we'll you. see you here next time